What's up, photographers? Uh, today I wanted to do a quick uh, tutorial on uh, shooting from the hip and street photography. And um, the camera I'm using is a Canon T5. Uh, I just got a 50 millimeter on here just to demonstrate. But um, the reason why they call it shooting from the hip is uh, was well, not in a literal sense that you would be actually. Um, hold on, let me focus. It's not in a literal sense that you'll be actually uh, shooting from the hip, but uh, basically you'll be shooting in a relaxed manner, uh, you know, not at the uh, usual uh, ready and fire position, but uh, basically at the loose, um, inconspicuous manner so that you won't uh, be leading on. Uh, let me change the camera again. I should hire a camera guy. But, uh, so that you won't be leading on to... Uh, the uh, subject that you're taking their photo and uh, basically what I would do what I do is uh, I'm usually walking around like this anyway so I will have my camera right here at eye level and I may or may not have live view on live view mode on let me see continue shooting so uh, basically I just Take pictures like this or I cross my arms and take pictures like like this uh, also uh, a good idea you could take a literally literally and uh, shoot from here uh, I think it's like right here you can see me on camera if you could uh, shoot like this when you're walking around and uh, a good thing also to uh, do is to have it on spot uh, manual focus or manual selection for uh, focusing uh, as you can see on my camera I have it focused on the center and I also use spot uh, well this is a Canon so T5 so it has partial metering so that way uh, that way with spot uh, manual focus it focus quickly so I don't have to uh, manual focus or I could manual focus if I want to but I know if with spot focus I just zoom in on the face or focus or oh, aim directly at the face or and uh, it focuses pretty quickly because it doesn't have to search around for uh, out of focus points and the reason why uh, it's in partial metering is because I want the face uh, face or the uh, body itself uh, exposed properly I don't really care about the uh, surrounding so long as the subject itself is exposed properly and uh, Oh, another good idea is to uh, have it uh, like on a monopod or a tripod and to be standing away from it and to use a remote shutter or you could simply have it like if you're in a really crowded area like like uh, let's say uh, a store of some kind and you, you want to get people shopping around for some reason you could have it like on your uh, on your person and then just with a remote shutter you have your hands like this and it'll take pictures I don't have one with me right now but uh you probably can't even see that on camera but uh or if you have one of those uh, I guess generic cam uh, camera straps that go around your neck you can also have it uh, fire off remotely as it uh, just lays on your uh, chest or stomach like that um, but um, anyway, that's it. That's just a quick tip uh, of how I would shoot uh, from the hip or not uh, at a ready position, I would say. And uh, thank you for watching.